Hemophilia was unknown to the world since 1928, and at first, it was spread among the royal family of England. It was first introduced to the world with the name of royal disease. Maybe people at that time thought that the disease was only found in the royal family. Yeah, it was true up to some extent because the disease at that time was limited to the royal family. So why did it spread among the royal family? How did it spread among the royals? Here in this video, we are going to discuss all these questions with you. So don't skip the video and watch it complete to get to the history of hemophilia. If you are visiting our channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned to the latest updates from our channel. Hemophilia was identified for the first time in the English royal family during the reign of Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria herself was the first member of the royal family to carry the disease. In hemophilia, the gene for clotting the blood gets damaged and hence, whenever bleeding occurs, it keeps on bleeding. Hemophilia may be one of the two types, Hemophilia A or Hemophilia B. Queen Victoria was affected with Hemophilia B. Hemophilia is a genetic disease which passes from the parents to offspring. The disease was inherited from Queen Victoria to all of her children. At first, her son died of hemophilia when he fell and got injured. The clotting factor was absent in his genes and due to excessive bleeding, he lost his life. Two of her daughters passed the genes to their children and hence the disease spread among the royal family of England. It is still unknown how Queen Victoria was affected with the disease. Sometimes the disease affects a person who does not have any family history of this disease at all. Maybe Queen Victoria's case was one of those. It happens to those people whose genes mutate on their own due to some genetic reasons. In the royal family, it was common or necessary to marry your cousins. Yeah, because they don't want an outside person to get the royal status. They wanted to keep the royal family limited to them. So most English royals got affected with this disease. Now you can assume how risky is the cousin marriage. Three children of Queen Victoria herself died due to heavy bleeding because of hemophilia. Leopold was the first son of Queen Victoria who died of hemophilia. He passed the disease to his children and they married the royal girls of Russia, Spain and Germany. So, the disease spread to the German, Spanish and Russian royal families. The person affected with hemophilia usually used to die in their childhood because at that time there was no treatment available. It is one of the most painful diseases because it causes hemorrhage and bleeding inside the joints. Many patients died due to bleeding in the vital organs of the body, for instance, the brain. They used to stay in bed to minimize the risk of injury. Hydrogen peroxide and even venom were used at that time to treat the disease because they had blood clotting properties. The treatment of the disease has come along the way in the past few decades. If you find today's video informative, please like, share and comment to let us know your thoughts.